Hi, art friends. Hi, art friends. This is new and scary. I'm terrified right now. <laughs> but we feel like it's time that we should probably address a few things that's been going on with the channel recently. Wow, are you just jumping straight into it? It is. These are the harsh truths that everybody needs to know. And I feel like I'm sick of hiding them, so. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I've been open about a lot of this stuff, like, everywhere but YouTube and I'm not sure why it didn't come across on YouTube so I feel like when I opened up about things remembering that there's multiple platforms of people. Exactly yeah and they're all spread around in in different areas some people have Twitch some people don't some people have Twitter some people don't. Yeah we've got a bunch of people on Discord you know people we have, are all over the place. Yeah we have a Discord by the way guys we should link that somewhere at some point but basically like this year without beating around the bush this year has been the worst year on YouTube for us ever. <laughs> yeah, we're basically on the Titanic right now and this is a sinking ship, which might come as a surprise because like every video that we post typically does the same as like what it always has, but like the back end and stuff and like all our backlog of videos, I don't know what's going on there, but something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> now just with the art, um, I feel like I should explain that before I start like crying about YouTube stuff. The reason that I chose to draw guinea pigs for this is because I wanted to draw something positive. And guinea pigs make me happy. So yeah, that's why I wanted to draw some We're talking about like a terrifying subject, so we thought, you know what, let's draw things that make us happy. And Adam chose the topic of guinea pigs and I chose the topic of frogs. <laughs> Now, we've also noticed as well, guys, in a few videos, we've obviously hinted in the past of Steph going to hospital, and I have as well, actually. And we've also... We've always been kind of vague with it for obvious reasons. Now, I won't talk about Steph's stuff, but with me, uh, last year, I think it was, I got diagnosed with depression and OCD. <laughs> and I, why am I laughing? <laughs> but, Probably like a nervous laugh. <laughs> oh God, I'm broken. But yeah, that's why, well, one of the reasons why we had to slow down doing our videos a little bit. In terms of me, you might know that about the end of 2017, like literally a matter of months after we started doing YouTube full time, my dad decides to just drop dead. Yeah. <laughs> that literally just came out of nowhere and financially that has been like a huge hit. I haven't even like but basically, yeah, without, I mean, this isn't, this isn't like, a, this video isn't meant to be a big sub story. It's most, it's supposed to be like more honest, but <laughs> yeah. basically when Steph's dad passed away, uh, she, she was the next of kin, basically. Uh, you know, she was the only daughter that her dad had, so she had to pay basically a large amount of the funeral stuff which was a really big hit but we did it you know we we, we got by and stuff and uh i didn't even have like a close relationship with my dad or something i hadn't spoke to him in years so it's kind of a shock to just get like a phone call one day to be like you need to sort out this relative stuff and also can you give us like two grand ouch it, was, it still hurts yeah, to remember it was a lot of money <laughs> and we still haven't like decided whether to like bury him or to do anything with the ashes or whatever because financially I literally feel like I'm going to throw up every time I try and think of that so that's something I've had on my well, mind because <laughs> like at the end of the day you know we can't afford it and stuff so I mean one thing that we really want to be more with you guys on YouTube especially is more transparent about things I mean when we started doing one video a week we just said, look, this is how it is because of things, which you guys, admittedly, you know, you guys were very uh, understanding and sweet about, and we really appreciate that. But we also feel like we should be more honest and transparent with you guys so you know. So I guess you can kind of expect more, I don't even know how you do it, like in quotations, real or honest videos. Not like these big dramatic type ones where it's like, oh, exposed, you know, but. Yeah, that much like dramatic stuff doesn't happen on like a weekly basis. <laughs> yeah, we don't have relatives dying like every week, so. And it's felt like it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not as if we're not trying to become like a big dramatic like channel or anything But we also want to be more honest with you guys so and I, I feel like a lot of you guys didn't know that Steph's dad had passed away or I'd been to hospital or I mean also why you've been I mean Do you want to touch on that? Yeah, a big part of like why I've been going to hospital is because I was diagnosed with CPTSD which yet again something that I've talked about off like the channel and stuff I'm literally like one of the most open people when it comes to like mental health 
And I've realised I don't think I've ever really talked that much about mental health on like our YouTube channel. Yeah, so that feels I don't like think so. a huge chunk of like my personality that's just been sort of like left out. We've been hid hidden away, really. It's like, I mean, we, we, we've we always prided ourselves on and we really enjoy uh, making videos and, and, you know, positive videos and stuff and to make you laugh. And But we also feel like we should be honest with you as well. And, you know, sometimes... You can't be happy like all the time, you know, it's, n it's not possible. You, everyone has things that are going on in their lives and if you were happy all the time you wouldn't even know it. And ultimately as well, like, we don't know like where things are going in the future in terms of like our channel, but at the same time... <laughs> it's going down at the moment. <laughs> That's where it's going. We can kind of predict where it's going. <laughs> but you know, we might as well try some new things, see how it works, and if it doesn't work, Hey, we tried. Yeah, change is scary, but I feel like we have a really dedicated and strong community with, with our art friends, you guys uh, watching this video. So I feel like it'll be scary, but with you guys around, I feel like we can do anything. But I feel like the time for change is like now. Yeah, because like the style of kind of like videos that we've been making up until now has always been very sort of like art vlog. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is, but there isn't really like a trend for like art vlogs anymore now. People who are doing art vlogs seem to really be like struggling with that kind of content. And our channel is a prime example of that, let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. I mean, YouTube numbers and stuff, I, you know, a lot of you guys know it's all public. You, you don't have to search very hard to like find it. Like the T-Series and PewDiePie thing, I mean, that's everywhere. You can get that information all over the place. So if you did a search for us, you'd be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But that's basically why, you know, it's you adapt or you die, so it's time to try something new. Yeah, we want to try and sort of focus a bit more on like the artwork, because this basically gives us more of like an opportunity where we can talk clearly, and then we've also got like a separate time to like think clearly while we're drawing, because when we're doing like the art kind of vlog stuff, it sort of slows down your brain because you're thinking like, okay, I've got to talk at the same time as drawing, but it's hard to come up with like a conversation while you're drawing at the same time. And make something real, really good. Because <laughs> like in this video, as you guys can probably see like on screen from while we've been talking, I used watercolors and that's been, it's been months since I've used watercolors in a YouTube video or, yeah. or it feels like. And I've just picked up like a bunch of art supplies that like I've wanted to use for a while. I had like a few thumbnails that I started off with and I enjoyed the way that the thumbnails looked with just like this regular pen and a Posca pen that were on my desk. I do, I like it, yeah. So then I was yeah. like, you know what, I'm just going to use these in the final piece. Why not? I also really like that you went for, I mean, I hope it's on screen, but I also really like that you went for a limited colour palette as well. It looks really undersea and really pretty. I think the Copics are running out of ink though. Oh, but it works. It looks really murky and mysterious. But yeah, I think for now, that's probably everything that we want to like cover. I mean, if you want to watch like some of our older videos, that would be such a big help yeah. at the moment. <laughs> because paying rent's hard, okay? It's not It's not easy. <laughs> Feel free to follow us over on other social medias. Follow us along on our journey of, will we continue doing this for longer than <laughs> I don't know how long? But let's find out. <laughs> and if not, feel free to expect our next series of Drawing on the Street. <laughs> because we want to have anywhere to live. Don't worry, we're staying positive though. Yes, exactly, absolutely. We're not at like a, a critical level just yet. You'll know when we have because we'll make a really dramatic video. That's when we will do the exposed videos. <laughs> we'll like, cry on cameras. <laughs> oh my god, no. No, man. That's, That's what people do on YouTube, right? <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to be one of those ones that make like a crying video. Do I have to cry for you guys? Is this how I have to get views? <laughs> No, no. But like I say, we definitely have a very, you, you know, a very small, sweet, dedicated audience. And I'm sure those people are listening to the video right now. And we want to make it clear that we appreciate you guys for sticking around for so long. You know, we've been doing this for three years. Yes, this third year so far is the worst one we've ever done. But I, <laughs> but, but I always recognize, because I do a lot of the comment stuff on the channel, and I always recognize and notice the same people that have been coming back for like such a long time. Oh yeah, I feel like whenever we have a new video that goes up, we get like a new wave of sort of like comments and views and stuff, but then after like all those people come through, it's like, it just goes and flatlines. Yeah, it just kind of dies, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like every video, it gets to roughly about 20,000 views and then it just sort of dies off. So maybe focusing on the art stuff a bit more. Maybe An art that's... channel focusing on art? Unheard of. But what yeah. a strange new direction to try. 
Yeah, but as I, it's all very new and it's all very scary, but together I think we can make something that's not only new and fresh, but also something that we'll, we'll all enjoy. Hopefully. <laughs> Honey, I need some positivity. That was a positive comment. Oh, how about we have like a little positive note right now and we show our featured Instagram artist on screen right now. Yeah. This person has tagged us on Instagram, either using our Instagram handles, Adam Sketches, Stefa Socks, or Doodle Date Official. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not the biggest channel in the world, but... Exposure's good. Everyone always talks about exposure. <laughs> exposure. <laughs> Oh, we'll do a video on that at some point, guys. We'll talk about exposure. Does and... anyone give us some exposure at the moment? <laughs> it would be appreciated. Susan, Susan at YouTube, are you watching this video? <laughs> Help me, Susan. Number one on trending, please. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we wanted to make some art, but also provide you with an honest sort of update type thing. So I guess that's what this was. Um, don't forget guys, please do like and subscribe. Share the video if you want to. Maybe it inspired you to be more positive. <laughs> or maybe it depressed you, I'm sorry if it did. <laughs> we well, have other happier videos yeah, if you want. But we'll we'll talk about that too, making art through depression and stuff, because like you guys like you guys know, I draw every single day and I even did when I got the diagnosis of all that stuff, so we can talk about that too. Just virtually hold our hand right now. Hold our thumb on that like button. Just do what you gotta do, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hopefully bye. we'll be here next week. See ya, bye! <laughs>